Literally, just say whatever you want, dude. Perfect. Say whatever you want. And, and I have a blast. Can, you're famous, so you, yeah, don't you, you can know. edit whatever. It's just, <laughs> I want to say all that. It's just three 40 year olds literally being If you losers. don't repost this, 100 people will see it. So don't even worry about it. Don't. <laughs> Welcome back to Underground Nutrition After Hours Get Off Our Lawn Edition with Brody Shreds with a Z. I can lunge <laughs> all over the <laughs> place. <laughs> Yes, yes. I <laughs> Welcome back to Underground Nutrition After Hours. I'm Scott, owner of Underground Nutrition, a little supplement shop in New Jersey. And this is John and Justin and Brody Shreds. Yeah. Internet famous. Internet famous is right. <laughs> So, I want to say all that. <laughs> thank I mean, you guys for having me. Influencer extraordinaire. Yeah, that's a good one. True influencer. Content creator. When people say influencer, they're talking about you. I don't like that term. I'd rather call myself a creator. Luke said the same thing. Yeah, no, like really, because like we create content. I feel like influencers more just like shoving codes and stuff down your throat. Yeah, that's I like true. the I like our content to take over. You know what I mean? Yeah, you are a content creator, like for real. Yeah. I, I went down a, a big rabbit hole. But, John, why don't you tell everybody at home who's listening how we got this big name on our show today? How we got him? I don't think how we got him matters. All that matters is that we got him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Made it Ari Gold but, style. Yeah, we have, um, you know, we, we have Brody Shreds in the building, um, friend of one of our members at Paramount. And um, we heard that he was going to be taking a trip out to New Jersey. And uh, from Louisiana, Correct. right? Okay. And uh, immediately I said to Sarah and Luke that they had to set it up. We had to get them on here. I had already seen some of your stuff. Um, you know, like when you, you know, the gym, just the Instagram, your, your stuff shows up on the explore page. So I think we even already followed you, but I'd seen some of your stuff already. I think it's 875,000 followers on Instagram. And you could correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's like 830, 825. All right right there. Okay. Yeah, you kind of overshot give, it a little bit. Give Thank or you. take fifty. Okay. Yeah, when it's that much, yeah. When's that much? Well, 50K that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> one point five million on TikTok. Correct. That's point, crazy. One point seven million on YouTube. One point. One point one. one you one sure? I thought I checked it this morning. It's one point seventy thousand. So ah, uh, so where that seven's seven, coming oh, from? Oh, one point right. seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's or pretty impressive. So YouTube. I'm in the thousands, and I float probably. Five or ten people every day. Do you float like thousands? Like, yeah, what's your yeah, swing yeah. I, look I, I like? Lose, I lose a thousand followers a like, day. like that. Yeah, but I gain. But like, then it swings. I gain like three or four. So the you know. Yeah, it, it's like I'm, two steps forward. I get like three. Yeah, two but, steps forward, one step. Back, yeah, my right. analytics. I lose followers every single day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. That's cr- that's wild <laughs> to me. I never know what the fuck. I'm like, I post something, I lose like ten followers. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? And I always want to know, like, why? Why did you leave? Follow? What did I say? <laughs> like, like yeah, did I do something wrong? <laughs> like, I thought that was like a, it was a regular post. Like, what's the problem? Real quick, <laughs> what's your like? Uh, do you have a preferred platform? Whether it's you know financially generating or just your favorite to use, or uh, I wouldn't say a favorite. So. YouTube and TikTok is definitely generous for me. TikTok this year changed my life. So I owe a lot to TikTok. And yeah. that is how I got into the scene. Because I only started off with TikTok. And then I got into Instagram. I was posting on YouTube for a while. And then once I started my series, our um, gym reality show that we're doing, that's when it really took off. So YouTube just took off. But it's been crazy, the growth. I, I don't see many people grow like that on YouTube. Right. I could be wrong. But from shorts alone... It just took off, but I was posted for like a year before anything happened. Donnie, you're, you're like a shorts you're channel, listening, right? Donnie, like that's, shorts. that's the majority. Yeah, I'm, of I'm, your... I'm getting into long form. I got like four videos lined up right now. But yeah, people say that it's like the shorts, but it really you got to be you got to kind of be special. So many people are doing yeah. that type of oh, content. I know a ton of big creators that only have like you know they're big on TikTok or whatnot, but they got like maybe 5K on YouTube, mm. and I'll go through and they they post all their same videos, kind of like I do, but um. Yours they just never took popped off. off. Yeah, yours just yeah. took off. Was there something like a video that was just like that video that took you to another level, or was it just over time? It's the series I'm doing right now. It's a series. Yeah. So a lot of people relate to the Office, which I'm a massive Office fan. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't really think about it like that, but now I am. It's kind of exactly what we do because you know we're, it's like a documentary style. But I was like, I was telling my boy, 
I was like, we should do like a gym reality show. That was my initial thought, like a reality show or a documentary. And so we started doing that. And I was like, yeah, we're kind of kind of doing the office. And people started, you know, relating to the office. And then um, you do those cut scenes where it's like you guys are like the you like, like in a love the interview kind of. scenes. Yeah, the, yeah. Oh, yeah that's thousands. so funny. That's, I have to admit, it's really funny. Thank it's really you. creative because nobody's done that yet, especially not in the gym space. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Maybe uh, somebody has, but I've never seen it. That's that's one thing. I always, even when I was just like posting <laughs> trends or doing like I don't know, just finding sounds and making videos, I always wanted to be original, and creative, and so I never copied anybody else. And so I was I was thinking, I was like. How can we go with longer form? Because I want longer videos. I want more in depth. Because now TikTok pays for like over a minute long. Yeah. And oh so really? I, yeah. So I joined the creator that creator fund, and it pays more. It's better RPM. So per thousand views, you get paid more. And so I was like, how am I gonna make a minute long videos? Because I was making like ten second videos. Of course. Yeah. 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 So I was like, you know, let's just do a reality show. Cut. Kind of like um, kind of like The Office. Mm-hmm. Like I said, and um, that's what got me going. So. When we started that, it didn't take off right away, but I was telling my boy, let's just make it a series. I, I was thinking about doing it, you know, by seasons. Mm-hmm. And we just, you know, we do s- multiple ports, but we're on, like, episode 50 right now. That's what I was going to ask. We posted like, how episode long- 50 yesterday. Yeah, that's crazy. So this was, how long has this been going over a time span? Like, how long have you been shooting this this reality show? Late July. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's so awesome. if you look at my analytics from late July to now, it's just... You know, because I, I was I was still getting followers. I still had a decent following, but mm-hmm. it was just shot up. Shot up from yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, it's it's changed a lot. So, who like, from a, like, it's hard. Well, coming up with content is hard. So is it, like, you and your two friends? Because I mm-hmm. saw you have, uh, your two friends are here. You have, yeah. like, two characters on the show. That's the team. Basically. That's the squad. Yeah. And That's so squad. Do you, you yeah. guys all come up with the, like, do you have, like, a day where you sit down, or are you guys just, like, like shoot off the shit rip. off each other? So when we were starting off, we had so many ideas. Oh. Uh, it was it was mainly um it was mainly me coming up with everything mm-hmm. and um like all the lines everything and I would just be like hey show up to the gym mm-hmm. and we're gonna run this and um Nordo Nordo's the um the shorter guy with the curly hair he's a uh, he's more of the videographer he's a, but he's in multiple pants, videos as well he um he likes it better behind the camera and he's good with the camera so we let him do that and then Colin what we got today sidekick, like day baby um, Mr mm. Box whatever you want to call him <laughs> he's um, fucking funny he's just he's he's the other you know like the opposite of me so we could play both parts and i think that's why it does so well because it's relatable because i'm not just you know showing myself a, a certain character mm-hmm. we have two different characters a lot of time they're all uh, they're opposite i feel like i play a lot of different roles but for the most part most people relate me with um kind of being you know more of a, a douche to my like friend. that sarcastic kind yeah, of because yeah. people like the bicker in the back and forth people like the the dialogue where we argue okay. so our best videos are like the verses yeah yeah Bulk versus cut yeah yeah it's straight improv now like we it's get to the really? gym and you guys yeah. are thinking of it on the spot we get to the gym we'll sit there in the core and we'll say and we film at like 10 o'clock at night so nobody's in the gym yeah, yeah. everybody thinks we own the gym we don't <laughs> <laughs> hate to break it to you but um so yeah, everybody so, thinks that luke owns our gym <laughs> yeah all right but um yeah we'll sit there we'll come up with the idea and we're like okay let's run it we usually have three to four scenes and then the interview scenes are improv straight improv wow yeah so it I'll, comes I'll, off like that it comes that's what gives it the office feel where yeah it doesn't feel scripted i think that's where a lot of the uh, influence or, or like the creators kind of lose me when it's like super scripted and they're doing lines and you guys aren't. It's not right. like you're a theater well, kid. My thing you know? is, I think a lot of people have no idea how to act. Yeah, well, I'm not yeah. saying I'm an actor. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm an actor by any means, but I feel like we portray it really good. Like my boy, if you look at the videos, um, my sidekick Colin. Mm-hmm. Um, I keep calling him my sidekick. I'm just referencing <laughs> no, that. No, it's okay. fine. Yeah. My John's partner. my sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say partner. Sidekick. That's weird. But uh. He, um, if you look at the first first video he was in till now, he's gotten so much better on camera. He wasn't a camera guy at yeah. all, like uh, being on camera. But he, he's my best friend since four years old. So I was gonna ask yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm taking I'm taking uh, took with taking you. the homies with me. That's, yeah. well, that's, that's the way. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I found these guys on the street. Bro. I literally I'm, I pulled up next to them. I said, "Get in." We're they got in. They dusted themselves off and opened up a gym. And, and now we're on a gym. podcast. We got a hundred viewers yeah. a week. Yeah. We're crushing it. That's Thanks, that's how I always wanted to be though. Because a lot of people you like. Once they get to a certain point, they all they want to do is collabs with these big names. Yeah, I don't give a shit about nobody but my homies. Yeah, you know I like I mean? that. that's the way it I, should be. I like, awesome. I've collabed with one person, and that's because, and that's Luke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and that's because I love what he does. I love his videos. He actually cracks me up. Mm-hmm. Like, if you ask me who my favorite creator is, it's Luke. 
Nice. No, yeah, not cool. to glaze them, but yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. how you uh, you met? Like, did you like see each other's work, and somebody reached out to the other person, or did you know each other from another different like channel? Basically, we became mutuals, and I don't know how it happened. I think uh, he might have reached out to me, fanboy, and was like, "Hey, hey, bro, <laughs> dude, I love you." I was like, "Whatever, who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my anyway, DMs, bro. We um, you know, summer shredding in Alpha Alpha Land. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. gonna say that. Yeah, so we somewhere. were going there. And I don't know if he reached out to me. I don't know if I reached out to him, but we wanted to get kind of like a house full of creators. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, he reached out to me because he, um, he, all his friends, like it was a bunch of Abe members. He's with Abe. Yeah. Yeah. So he reached out to me asking if uh, I want to stay with them. And I was like, yeah, can I bring my boy, which was Colin. And um, yeah, so we met at Summer Shredding for the first time. And so we got to meet each other. We did a collab. And after that, you know, we planned another trip to LA. We did another Houston trip, and now I'm in Jersey. Bet. Cool. Yeah, that's, so that's pretty we, dope. We, we, I'd say we hit it off. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now right. the one that you did with like um, the my like my old gym bros back in town. Yeah. That was hysterical. Thank you. That, that was, was hysterical. That, uh, was that that was that your first that was that your first one with him? No. So actually, <laughs> it's funny. So the first video I ever did with Luke. If you go look at my videos, and this isn't the brag anyway, but all my videos for like on the series get over a million views luke's one (laughs) is the only one that didn't do over a million (laughs) (laughs) it flopped it flopped hard like i think it might have got 40k and over time because you know when people go through my videos they'll go look at other ones it's it's probably got like 500 600k right now but it did bad in the beginning i wonder why did you see that one a thumbnail do you know what i'm talking about it's hysterical yeah it's hysterical (laughs) i went through a lot of the your youtube stuff so i want to ask you this so you start making content right right? and i guess you had it yeah obviously you had a day job like Mm -hmm. you were going to the gym because you love the gym yeah at what point did you realize? I would imagine this is a full time gig for you now. Yeah. Like, it is. at what point did you realize, like, I can do this full time? Like, how long ago? How long did it take? Like, how long were you making content before you could, you know, quit your fucking day job? It's a good question. So, I started off. I won't try to get uh, too far back there, but I started off on Vine. You remember that? App? Yeah, yeah. 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 Little Terry. So, little Terry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't kill him. Don't yeah. kill him, bro. Me, but, um, Justin were that was my homie, bro. <laughs> right. I fucked so, with him heavy. I, I start off like I so basically getting at I always like posting content. Once Vine shut down, I would make videos just to send it uh, to my friends on Snapchat, and then I went and played college baseball, stopped really posting, and then TikTok came along, and. So I started posting on there. That was probably 20, 2020. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I started posting on there. N- not fitness. It was just funny, comedy. Right. And then um, anyway, I got really into working out. And then I finally got to the point where I felt like my physique was decent. Yeah, show And so I was like, so uh, I started off baseball content because I was a college baseball player. Right. I ran up my first account to about 180,000 doing baseball videos. Mm-hmm. And I was – and. That was my senior year. So I was like, man, I can't keep doing this. I'm not going to play baseball no more. You know what I mean? So I was really into fitness. So I started posting fitness content. And so I ran with that for a while. And I graduated. So I worked. Since I graduated, I worked fencing. I, like, I put up fences. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I did <laughs> insurance like that sales. That sucks that worse. Sounds, I did yeah. construction. Also Ugh, terrible. Awful. And then my last one was just kind of the final straw for me. I worked in the plants. Are y'all familiar with that? No. no. So Louisiana, Louisiana type shit? <laughs> Louis, like, uh, it was a grain plant. So my job was to, I would work the pipes, and a ship would come along, and I would work the pipes to put the grain into the ship. Oh, my God. Wow. Into the shipping containers or whatnot. I would have tried to figure something else out. And <laughs> so... All while I'm doing this, all those jobs, I'm still doing content, but I'm not really making money off of it yet. So I was like, I can't, you know, I can't just not work, <laughs> yeah, you know, can't yeah. be a bum. Right. <laughs> but uh, was that always the goal, though, was to like st- do this? Like after to, a while, to once, a I, once I realized how much money there is to be made in social media, I was like, I need w- to do this. One, thi- one thing that really got me, I'm working with 40 year olds. No offense. Sorry. <laughs> no offense. Plenty, plenty offense but taken. Fucking I'm 39, so, so it's I fine. Have a, I have a bachelor's degree in marketing, and my my boss asked me about college, and he was like, "What are you doing here?" Right. Yeah, and he was like, "And he was like, Dude, you're too handsome." It's like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> like my boss telling me, "What are you doing here?" And I was yeah. like, "You're right." Yeah. And then I'm just like, I could tell 
these older guys are like kind of miserable with what it, it was. A, it was a shitty job. Yeah. Shitty job. Like you just breathing in uh, grain dust all day. Yeah. But um, I was like, yeah, he's right. But this is, I'm working 12 hours a day, um, 72 hours a week. Some t- so I think it a lot of weeks it was six days a week. So Jesus, I would I my work was 45 minutes away. I'm from a very small town. So I, I would drive 45 minutes to work, 12 hour shift on my feet. It's a physical, physical labor. Yeah. I would drive 45 minutes back, pass up my house, wave goodbye to my bed, and drive 30 minutes the opposite way to go to the gym. Wow. Work out, film. That would take about an hour and a half. I would edit on the way home driving. That's not good. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I had to do. And then go home, make my meals, you know, still keeping up with actually, you know, wanting to look good. So I had to do my meals, prep it for the next day. That was a struggle because, you know, I was barely getting any sleep. I was falling asleep at the wheel and stuff. It was, uh, so at, w- at some point it, it got tir- tiring. And then... I, I finally got my first supplement sponsorship, and I was finally making a little bit of money, to where I just took the risk. And Said I fuck it, yeah, yeah, took the risk. You know, I was able to like, you know, start making my own programs and stuff to where uh, I could like, people could buy it and whatnot. So I was making a little bit of money, maybe half of what I was making at my job. No, when you say programs, you mean like online coaching? Online coaching, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Okay. And um, finally had a little bit of income from social media and coaching, and so like I said, maybe half of what I was making, and I quit. And then from there, I decided to go full time, and it worked out. That's where you popped off. It worked off. out. You sure did. Are, Are you, you were... still doing the coaching? I am. And do you? Th- but I don't take on as many clients as um as possible. Like some people just yeah. you know wanting for the money. I'm like I'll take on serious clients that you know want to get after it. I'm not in it for the money no more. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. maybe five percent of my income. Yeah. Right. So like I just generally want to help the people that want the help. Yeah. That's so good. do you get a ton of like coaching like client requests? Leads. As a result yeah. of your your status on social media, correct. You, like so, people I'm sure, are fan, yeah. con- nonstop, yeah. right? I wouldn't say it's like I don't, I don't I don't get thousands, but like I get leads from Enough. my content. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But when people people are like, I don't even I don't even really show off my workouts or anything. That's why I want to get to long form. But people are like, you know, you look the part, you look good. I want to know what you're doing, and so people reach out to me, and then I explain exactly what I do, and I get more in depth about it. Be like, that's why I don't because. The workouts and showing off your diet stuff is so much negativity in the comments. Mm -hmm. You're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. It's like, okay, you don't know what I do. You don't know how I got here. Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks they're, um, you know, the The everybody's optimal. Everybody's optimal in science space nowadays. So you show off your workout. You're like, that's not. They're like, that's not optimal. You're doing that wrong. They're like, why you set it up like this? Blah blah. blah. It's a bunch of arguing in the comments. I realized. Like I posted a diet. I posted my uh break my go to everyday breakfast, which is like a hash brown bowl with eggs and stuff, and it got five million views. Right. But bunch of bickering in the comments. You eat five eggs a day? Yeah. That's awful for cholesterol. Yeah, like yeah. bunch of shit like that. And it's like you well, have no idea what you're talking about. That's, 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 that's idiots. Yeah, that's yeah. the last thing you it's should like, say. It's like you can't do that every day. You you know you have high blood pressure. It's, like, it's always been like that in bodybuilding. So even like creatine, it's like you have you ask a hundred people, fifty will say take it this way, fifty will say take it this way, and they'll, and they'll argue over it. BCAAs, EAAs, right. carbs versus fat, keto versus you can never get anywhere with that. Everybody right. will argue. I would stay out of I that. I think the best thing to say is, like, whatever works for you. Exactly. Works for you. That's now, it. Now, somebody that has zero knowledge, yeah, you you know, you, you could use the help when it comes to, you know, figuring out the right macro splits and whatnot. But, um, like, if an exercise works for you, keep doing it. Yeah. That's, that's if what a I diet like works say. for you, like, right. newbies, it's sustainable. Like do anything. Yeah. yeah do, do anything. Do as long as you're doing <laughs> something. Do if anything, anything is right. sustainable, yeah, go to the gym. Right. If anything's sustainable, you just keep on doing it, you know, because that's, that's All right, the so, goal. So, I mean, is, it, is there like a day you wake up and you're like, shit, I, I made it? Like, I mean, was it just, yeah. or just like a slow burn? Like, all of a sudden, like, it just started piling on and now you're... Slow burn. Yeah. Slow burn. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I feel like I made it. Yeah. Because um, I don't really... I don't really have that go in the back of my mind. Like, I don't know. Some people would say, maybe, hey, 10 million on YouTube is my go. Mm-hmm. Or maybe a certain amount of money is my go. It's really not. It's just, I just want to take it as far as I can. Right. And um, I, I'm in it for the longevity. You know, a lot of these people, they blow up so fast and they don't know how to maintain it. Mm-hmm. And then their views start dropping, dropping, dropping. So, like, when... 
if one day my series that I'm doing right now doesn't mm-hmm. do good, I have like two backups that I could start a whole new series. And just switch you know what I'm saying? Up. Yeah. yeah, people don't think about that. They're they're just um, oh, this is working right now. I'm getting millions. It's always gonna be like this. You know, let me buy this fancy core. Let me do all this. I don't give a shit about materialistic things. Right. I drive a I drive a Camry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I don't have, care. That was gonna be one of my questions. I can afford a Hellcat, but I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> um that's what I, that was gonna be one of the questions in the back of my head. I want a um, cyber truck. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> a cyber truck. Cyber. Oh, I can't I might, wait. I might splurge for that. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I will definitely get one. One hundred percent. I'm not even in the car. Into cars. Go ahead, John. You I'm mentioned sorry. you mentioned longevity, and that that was going to be one of my questions. Is I mean, so you you kind of answered it already. So you have plans, like you know, yeah. You know, you understand sure. that certain, you know, you know, whatever it is that you're doing doesn't last forever. Yeah. You know, and you and so you already have your your next your next couple of steps planned out. Right. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, social media is straight up and downs. Um, so I know I'm not always going to pull these views. Yeah. So eventually I'm going to have to switch my approach. And, you know, I'm ready for that. I feel like nobody prepares for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to keep it fresh and stay relevant. Yeah. You're going to grow older, you're 30 yeah. years old. I right, mean, right. You got to change your characters. You got to change. I'm only getting more handsome, though. So. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I can agree Me with too, that. bro. That's, that's, I yeah, age yeah. like wine. Right? <laughs> too, man. I look better now than I ever did. Right. Me? Have you thought beyond like, like social media banana. or like, social media? I got to like, 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 have you, you ever, th- have you ever had any thoughts about like, I mean, you just, you kind of just spelled it out there. You're like, Oh, if this cat, this character, this series doesn't do well. I have the next plan. Mm-hmm. Um, have you thought about like the day where you kind of leave social media behind and do something, you know, uh, you know, something else in the industry? I don't Go know. Back to green. I would, supplement. I, I would <laughs> love to get into acting. Okay. Uh, I'm shooting a movie in February. Really? Yeah, it's not a blockbuster. So I, I believe it's more of like an independent film. Okay. But uh, it's called Sundown. So Sundown. Yeah. Is it, y- y- Sundown is Sundance. Maybe we go yeah. to Sundance. It's, bro. Like, it's independent. It's like I, I believe so. How'd you get so. into that? Did you like try out or somebody contacted they you? They reached out to me. They were looking for influencers, so really? uh, they can market it the right way. That's and, um, pretty sick. Yeah. So I sent headshots. Did you do that in school? Did you do any theater? I did not. I was thinking about that today. It's like the the future of bodybuilding is just like like jack kids like theater kids mm-hmm. it's not like the dumb rich piano is like duh you know right this is what i eat this is the steroids i take now it's like you got to be creative you got to be able to act I, th- I think it's i think it's personality a lot yeah you, yeah. Got, you definitely have to have a good personality you have to have thick skin right yeah you got to be able to put the shit out there and forget about it and yeah. go on to the next thing my skits do good but i have five hundred thousand on my backup where i just talk to the camera uh, camera like right. I'll, I'll tell stories like i said i'll do my meal like I, I showed one meal, got over five million, and uh, like I would do posing and whatnot. Like I still get great views on those videos, so it's not just my skits that do good. So that's more my showing off my personality, and mm-hmm. it still works. Do you yeah. have like a formula? Like, do you have like a set schedule? Because we've been trying to do with my little company Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, real, real slide posts. I, I googled it. That's what, yeah. that's what they <laughs> say. Seems to work I'm for other it. people. I'm Scott's looking for a mentor. That's what I did for YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Can I hire you? Yeah. That's what I did for YouTube. It was like best time to post on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. it's not the best time. Or I'll we'll throw <laughs> something up at like Friday at like two o'clock in the morning, and I'm, I'm like, why? Why did I put that up? And it, it does better than anything else. It's like yeah. so nothing so, makes any sense. So I've never, I've never read this, but this is just my mind. Best time to post. So I'm Central Time, mm-hmm. five o'clock, because. People are coming off home work. from school, mm-hmm. yeah, school uh, home from work. Yeah, everybody's getting off, and you know they're getting on their phones. Right, right. So if you post in the middle of the day, you know a lot of people are at school, a lot of people are at work. So I post at five. So over here it would be six o'clock. Six o'clock, yeah. Four in uh, Pacific what, what, Central like Mountain, 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 and then uh, Pacific. You know, three. Right. So yeah. that's like you know when everybody's coming off from school, work. So I think that's the best time to post because okay. that way you can hit all time zones. Right. And do you have like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday or you just whenever you have it I do ready? not have a schedule. No? Whenever I get a video whenever done, video done. post it the next day. Do you day. have a goal per week to like um, yeah, like, like, like amount of videos or reels that you're trying to like do? Minimum to two. Minimum two. Minimum. Yeah, so we started off with a series. We had so many ideas that we were doing every day. That was not that was not good because we were, well, first off, they both have jobs still. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to work on that, trying to get them, you know, on the team, uh, you know, pay them salary and whatnot. So I got I got to kind of correlate uh, with their schedule because I want them a part of it, right? I right. could I could get anybody, I really could. Yeah, but um, you know, you they just everybody knows them already. Yeah. Every, yeah. They you know they and they're good on camera, mm-hmm. and they know how like we work well together. So I want them in it, but. Anyway, we started off, we were posting every other day, and then it was just too much. 
because we were filming like late at night, so they were off work. Now I like to say I used to post every single day, every single day, Saturday, uh, Monday through Sunday. Damn. When I was doing short, I was doing it every day. I was like, this is not, this is not maintainable. And so now it's, um, now it's quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you so, do the editing still, or do you have somebody I, I, yeah, do it for you? I do. Do yep. you really? Yep. Yeah. I don't. People, I, I don't think an editor could, you know, they don't have, have my mind. They wouldn't like, have. so if they would send it over to me, like, hey, it's done, and be like, I don't like you that. You see it different. I don't like yeah. yeah, I think so. Because yeah. even though we film in a certain way, we try to film in an order, I'll still, sometimes I'll throw it, um, sorry, I'll, I'll throw it around. Like, I'll mix up the order. Like, if the intro doesn't really make sense, or mm. I think we could have a better intro, like, I'll, I'll switch up the clips. Right. And so I play with it a lot, and I'm kind of very picky about how I do it. Hmm. So you're with sick. a couple companies now. You're sponsored. Absolutely. You're sponsored. I see. I got the Ghost drinks out here. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, just signed with Ghost Coach Shreds, By the way, yeah. save you twenty percent. What's nice. the code? Coach Shreds. Scott, what's S H R E D Z. Can we get them cheaper uh, with Coach Shreds than we can from Underground Nutrition? I don't. <laughs> I. Uh, it's embarrassing to say. I only carry the ener energy drinks. I don't carry the. I used to carry the pre workout and the protein for a little while. Talk to him. See if they can lower the get, fucking prices for you. You should get back uh, selling ghosts. What are y'all doing? I don't That's a big goof. Have them reach out to me. We've been <laughs> telling ghosts. We've been telling. I brought Scott Abe in because uh, Luke has done really. I'm actually sold out. And in, in, uh, you, you've selling any of that over there? Yeah, uh, the pre workouts. Yeah, yeah. 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 I it's sold become out. our biggest pre workout sale. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, Abe? Yeah, Abe? yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, have them reach out to me. And who else? You're sponsored by Young LA. I got a question. I got a question. Yeah, about that. we have it. This, this is a this big is, debate. This is something in. we talk about What's all that? the time. You're probably <sighs> not allowed to speak on it too much in detail, but just give it to him. Scott. At what age are you? Should you? <laughs> should not, you not, not, not wear, young what, in LA? Are you anymore? not? Are you old LA? Like when you? What do you? When you see a forty year old bodybuilder, a little washed up with maybe HGH forehead, <laughs> uh, come in decked out head to toe, and it's not Jay Cutler. Right, uh, we're in all young LA. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Because in my mind, I go cringe. Stop, dude. <laughs> stop, dude. <laughs> Please Just stop. Fucking stop grow it, up, bro. bro. Depends how you look at it. What do you think um, the cutoff age is? I don't know if you're allowed to say. I'm gonna say it's 38. I don't think there's a cutoff. No, you don't. Know? Right, because like if I let you wear this right now, you look fly. That's pretty cool. That's that's <laughs> cool. But I don't know about the the sweatpants. I think I might. I don't know if I'd be able to pull off the sweatpants. They're really nice, but they're I think the yeah. Same I mean, thing. I that's I what know. I say. They're, they are nice and they look good on you know like the younger generation. Younger generation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The thing I love they about look them, kind like of silly on me. Even other than their gym clothes, their lifestyle clothes. Uh -huh. That's all I wear. Like when I go out, like I have some fly fits. Yeah, like, they do have some clean. clothes. They're not just uh. Like gym, gym wear, right? Yeah, right. They're like lifestyle. I'm that's still that's what I like 40. about them. I'm gonna say 40 is the cut off. Cool. So I guess I have one young <laughs> LA. Or, I have one. Or, so I can say where I can. I got I got two months. Or you have like you're not you're not like you're not Jay Cutler. You know, Jay I'm Cutler Jay can Cutler. pull it off. I'm not Jay Cutler. So I think it's his company. How old is yeah. Jay Cutler? He's, He's got to be 50, 50 right? Really? We got we got Arnold now. You got Arnold? Arnold. Arnold. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. He Ooh. was a. Uh, they How just they just posted. I gave he, you an Arnold he was, shirt. He was rocking the Young LA. What's that? I gave you an Arnold shirt. You have to wear it. Oh, you smoke it. You tag me. <laughs> Tell everybody to come to my store. Like, yeah, Did you no. give it to him? <laughs> Shout out. You gave it to him already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave it to him out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just threw it at him. Like, here's a sweatshirt. <laughs> here's a sweatshirt. <laughs> 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 we, brought, we brought you a t shirt, too. I didn't know that we already did the, the, the gifts. The exchange. It does, it does the promote Santa. drug use. So I don't know. You might have to be careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a picture of him smoking a dube. Yeah, it's my top selling. It's your top selling. I'm waiting to get sued. Speaking, I'm, of, I'm, I'm sure. speaking of that, you you kind of remind me of Seth Rogen. Oh, Anyone shit. ever tell you that? <laughs> Fucking Christ with this kid. Now we're, yeah, now we're going. <laughs> Seth we're Rogen, going. though? Seth Rogen. Yes. Uh, I've <laughs> heard of Seth, Seth Rogen on Trend. I've heard <laughs> Seth Rogen. I've heard Pacey from Dawson's Creek. It's probably... <laughs> I don't think he knows I, I don't know. Pacey. I don't know. Time. Pacey, yeah. uh, who else have I gotten? Uh... You ever see this? What was that big YouTube? They were really popular. They made like giant burgers and pizzas. Um, Epic, meal time. Epic yeah, meal time. Yeah, yeah. You ever okay. see that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Some people say I look like that guy. That sucks. <laughs> That's Shut pretty up, great. Donnie. <laughs> no, but your voice and... too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, he's <laughs> funny. He's funny. He's, hate him. <laughs> he's, he's really funny. His movies are really funny about <laughs> weed. <laughs> <laughs> about weed. Oh, uh, what else? I got a good one. What was I asked Luke this? When was the last time you were in a street fight? Never. You've never been in a fight. Never in a fist fight. Wow. So I think I don't never I don't argue with people or anything like that. Not even baseball. Never had like a bench clearing. Nobody ever threw. Who'd you play oh, for? Nobody ever threw anything high and tight at your head, and you just charged the mound. 
No, never. Where'd you go to college? Louisiana College. Okay. Yeah. Now D2? referred to as Louisiana Christian University. Nice. Okay. But uh, D two, D three, D three. Yeah, that was, was D three. But uh, big, that's yeah, fine. No, so my my older brother went there, and I always wanted to play ball with my older brother because Sick. we were we went to different high schools. I went to like you know the, I went to a private school. He went to public. Okay. And um, always wanted to play ball with him. Never got to so. I got to live with him, play ball with him. Oh, really? Year. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty sick. What position you play? Center field. I was Real? a fast Ooh, guy. I was going to say, you were yeah. pretty fast then. Yeah. You a big sports fan or no? I am. I am. Braves, I am. Braves down in Louisiana? Who do you like? Braves? Yeah. Oh, no, that's not really close. I know. Uh, that's not really <laughs> baseball, close. Baseball? Baseball, uh, Louisiana. There's no baseball team, so that's you could why. go for anybody. Right. Um, I'm a Red Sox fan. Manny Ramirez. Okay. Right. That was my boy. No doubt. Um, But Saints, New Orleans Saints, big LSU guy. Okay. And... Where were you for Katrina? Katrina. Were you um, there? Uh, we stayed at our house. What, did it get crazy by you, or was it just like it got crazy? But it didn't flood. Um, twenty, I forgot which one it was. Two thousand twenty-one, the hurricane that hit us, it flooded my house. Wow. Our our whole town was on the water. I was telling him before I was out there. What's well, before you got here? What's the first thing that like came to your mind when you thought of the state? Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's a, yeah. I feel like that's a pretty common. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi's here. I, people. Are, I, so I know I Mike. Fucked, I know so Mike. The situation. Yeah, yeah. I can introduce you. Probably. Couldn't live in our house for like months. He didn't listen. To me. No, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's you want to meet, you yeah, meet the situation? I can make a phone. I know. Oh, so that's a get. That's a gag I've been doing uh, uh, since I've been here. Everyone's like when I referred to Luke, I'll be like, "Okay, Pauly D, okay, Vinny. Uh oh, we got the situation here. Like, you know, he, he, he got he got it going on. He's he's tan. You know, yeah, obviously he goes to the gym. Yeah, he, he sure does. He's got, his, uh, he's got the ears pierced yeah. going. Yes, he does. Yeah, he looks kind of. What are of some Italian. other things that you? So, what are some other things that come to mind when you think New Jersey? What this surprised you? What surprised you about New Jersey? Like, what were you not prepared for? Because I feel like people have in their heads something weird about this state. Were you expecting like? I've, I got here yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh so you're still exploring. Right. Did you, you flew in? You went I, to I New did. York? We flew in 10 a.m. New York Airport? New York. So you got <laughs> New York. Is New York. Oh, you, JFK? New, is New, New York. New York? New York. That's it. That's it. New York. New York. That's the best city in the best city in New York. It didn't look like it, so you're lying. No, <laughs> nah, that's a, literally a war zone. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the greatest place. It reminded me of New Orleans. Yeah. There's there's some points, there's some parts of New Orleans just. You want to be walking out there, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, Newark is no joke. They have some good, they have some good spots, but New yeah. Orleans is dangerous. Have you tried any of our food, like our uh, pork roll or any of that? He brought me to a bagel shop. Nice. Did you get the pork roll? It was mid. Yeah, it was mid. <laughs> mid. It was mid. <laughs> what bagel shop? It was. We need to take you like Manhattan bagel. Uh, yeah, I hope, it, I hope it was a mom and pop one and not yeah, like Manhattan bagel. bagel. Yeah. We got a pizza as well. I think of, nice. when I think of Louisiana, mm-hmm. I think of jambalaya, <laughs> the crawfish. Crawfish boils and uh, like really poorly constructed levies. <laughs> Wait, poorly constructed what? Levies, levies, what levies, levies. 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 Yeah. 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 That's, that's why we flooded. No, so the thing, the the last hurricane was so strong, the water came over the levee. Yeah, that's a, so. That's what I think of in my head. Is yeah. Louisiana the place where they had that alligator show where they fucking hunt alligators? Yep, swamp people. Swamp people. That's yeah, us. that shit was mm-hmm. sick. Yeah, you got a little that bayou accent. It's like yeah, our he biggest does thing. Little so bayou I, accent. like yeah, behind my cool. house, literally swamp. Yeah. yeah, like I'm not lying. Like when people say, "Oh, we got alligators in our backyard," I'm not lying. You're literally, literally, yeah. literally, like we have we have a canal, we have our levee, and uh-huh. then it's all swamp. Do you guys eat alligator? Are you, are you mm-hmm. a, yeah, yeah. How's the I don't I don't go out lean? hunting myself and like cook it up, but <laughs> right. um, there's there's alligator choices. Is that lean protein? Oh no, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's good. I've had it. I'm a picky the, eater. Yeah, I think the macros like chicken macros pretty good. Yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. I had never had it, but I would imagine it tastes like fish and chicken combined. Yeah, it's just like chicken. Yeah. All of that. Yuck. I tried, tried shark before. I feel like it was kind of the same thing. Okay. Oh, Are you a Lil Wayne fan? Because that's what I think of. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Lil Wayne, Boosie Badass, Webby. Yeah. Kevin Sick. Gates. Kevin, Kevin Gates. I, I fuck with Kevin I was, Gates. Yeah. I saw some weird shit about Kevin Gates yesterday. Yeah, he's very weird, but Sucking hey. toes and stuff. Yeah, he was on his, uh, Twitter sucking somebody's toes from Yuck. the NBA. It was, I don't know if it yeah, was Yeah, young over. boy. Yeah, it was weird. I think it was yeah. his toes. <laughs> we uh, we burned some good rappers. I'll say that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Scott's not the biggest fan of uh, hip hop music. Not everybody. But uh, that's okay. John and I. I guess you like um, who is it? Morgan Wallen. 
No, oh my God. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Country? No, Jesus. He's Christ. not. He's the. He like Scott. Like you refuses were... to tell you what he likes. Like he'll come into Paramount in the afternoon when it's super quiet, and he'll bitch and complain about the music, so scream it across and the And then we'll ask him, "What do you want us to put what on? What do you want to put? I don't on? care. I don't care. Anything but anything, this. Anything but this. <laughs> anything but this. Put, literally anything. And, and then like you that. put something else on, and and, and, and then he's making fun of that. <laughs> yeah. So what do you listen to? Me, I listen to weird shit. He listens to everything. He likes classical stuff. He likes metal. I like Lana Del Rey. Big, you like Lana fan. Del Rey? <laughs> Summertime Sadness. Do you like Lana Summertime Del Rey? Summertime Sadness. <laughs> yeah. I love her. I uh, absolutely love her. Really? There's nothing okay. wrong with that. She I makes like me that. want to smoke a cigarette. Oh. <laughs> in the g- so I, I listen to rap a good bit, but in the gym, I listen to anything. Like, yeah. I listen yeah. to metal mostly, yeah. if, if you were to call it something. Anything yeah. with like a guitar and bass and drums, I'm I'm with it. You know? Yeah, like I'll hit all genres. They're like listening a- to like fucking... Nelly and shit. Yeah, okay. Nelly. 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 Yeah. Okay. Nice. Right? No. Get no, the fuck out. Wrong. R&B. Wrong. <clears throat> and we could put Nelly on right now and you wouldn't even know it's him. Yeah. We could put five different songs on you wouldn't be able ja to tell Rule. us which one was Nelly. They got Ja Rule. They got first, DMX. Ja Rule's first uh, album was dope. All right. Well, All right. whatever. So slow down. We're big Not on everybody the Lil Wayne, can have good uh, Rick music. Ross. Yeah, we like that. Um, about training, do you have any, like, you s- obviously you're in great shape and you said you'd Thank you. We're teaching posing and stuff. Do you have any like dreams of bodybuilding and going into stepping on stage? Yeah, stepping on stage. I definitely want to do it for content purposes. Right. It's just um honestly, no excuse. I just didn't get into it for bodybuilding. Right. I got into it because I wanted to look good and be confident because I was a skinny I was I was a skinny just super skinny. Right. A kid growing up, right? Yeah. The small kid. I was always short. Uh, I'm five eight, so I was a shorter kid, and then I was like disgustingly small, right? Mm. Always had the abs, you know, skinny kid abs. But um, so I just wanted to look good, and so that's why I got into it. And then you know, uh, content helped obviously, but bodybuilding wise, I um I definitely want to do a show, but it's not my like main interest. Like I I don't want to go pro. That's why like, do you follow it? If, I do. You do follow bodybuilding. I do keep up with it. I, I couldn't like name everyone. Yeah. What's your favorite? Like, would you do? What would you do? Like, uh, do you like physique or do you like uh, classic? I'd probably do physique to start off. Yeah. And then classic. I mean, I don't show off my legs much, but I got some legs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, you're in good shape. He was training legs yesterday. I can vouch for that. Mm-hmm. How'd you like uh, training at Paramount? It was good. Y'all got some machines that I really like. Yeah. So like looking at Luke's videos, I thought I thought it was like. I don't know. When you finally see it in person, it's a lot different. Yeah. Because I thought it was massive. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. That's, that's, that's the massive. mirror. It's, yes. a little, it's a trick. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's just how my gym is. Um, like Your ours gym is, is kind of the same no? setup. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's not. It's kind of like y'all's. And it's like blue, too. So like I was like, this is the same vibes. I like it. Yeah. But people think our gym's massive because we do so many different scenes that people are like, damn, they're always in a different spot. It's yeah, just the way the camera is. Yeah, it's just the way it looks. Know? Because we have mirrors everywhere, so we have to get certain angles, or you can see, like, People in the background, you can see tripod mm-hmm. or the cameraman. So, but um, no, I had a great time. Uh, I think we're gonna get one more lift in there. So nice, it's nice. Yeah, appreciate nice. it, dude. Yeah, you're going to. From what I heard, from what Luke told me, you're going up Attilus in what is it, Egg Harbor? Yeah, there's Attilus yeah, in the, Egg Harbor, the, really, the, the popular one, um, which I've never been to. I don't you're think going the, the Iron newest Rebel. one isn't open yet. I think it's open. Are you doing Saturday. a little gym tour? Taking you. We're going to, you go to check out Lifters, Lifters Lair and um, Iron Revolution. Iron Revolution is a good one. Was that one? There's Lifters Lair down in Brick. That's a big. That's a popular one. Huh. You're gonna love Iron Revolution. Yeah, and it's, it's ridiculous. It's really cool because it started out as like a smaller, like the same size as Paramount. Yeah. Um, and then he he was you know he did so well with it that eventually he expanded to three times yeah, the size. Knocked the wall down. It's literally. Oh, that's dope. It's like it is. It's it's, insane. A, it's it's a mecca. Like I don't know mm-hmm. if you guys have something. Like, it's one of those gyms that, like, everybody in the tri-state area goes to. Me and Justin even went there a couple months ago one morning just to train. Yeah. And I was... um you're blown away because I went to the old, You're you know, scouting. the original one. When he, we were sc- I wanted to check out equipment. You know? equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to check out some of the equipment, but I hadn't been there since the um, they had they had the original size, and then we opened, and then one day they expanded, and we're like, let's just go check it out. And it's it's insane. They have the posing room, the whole it's really good equipment. Nice. Um. I haven't been to Attila, so I can't speak on that. But nice. everybody I know, yeah. So I'm I'm on Luke's itinerary. Yeah, you know wherever he wants to bring me. Yeah, I don't have a car. How long are you here for? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. So made, made a week out of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Couldn't come Monday, so flew in Tuesday, leaving Sunday. How long is that flight? 
Uh, three hours. Not oh, bad at all. Not bad. It's not terrible. That's easy enough. You can come back. So <laughs> if you um, what's your go-to app though? Like when you're on your phone, you're scrolling. Are you on TikTok? Are you on Reels? Like what are you looking at? I find myself on Twitter. Me too. Bro. Me wow. too. Twitter's. Do the you best. post on Twitter though? Do you have a Twitter? I, I just started posting my skits. I can't do I'm getting it. Like nine likes is so sick. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, Twitter's Twitter is hard. the hardest yeah. one like to our, break it's through. Like our podcast. Oh, I think so. Absolutely. But I'm yeah. on. T- I'm on Twitter. Nine times out of ten, I'm on Twitter. Yeah, no. Because like, I, I, Instagram is just. It's just it's like girls. It's just everything. It's like it's just girls doing all, every girl like the camera now on the top. That whole thing. Yeah. You get to down that rabbit hole. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking crazy. I'll, so I can't even look at that shit. I'll be honest. I don't scroll Instagram at all. No. I don't post. I go through my brain. DMs. Yeah. You know, I message people back. Right. But I do not scroll Instagram. Are you doing messaging? You're you're answering DMs. Mm-hmm. You don't hire somebody for that. I should. Like that way I could get to more people. I'm under 10,000. I hire somebody for that shit. Really? I can't do it. I dude. need to, but I, I don't want anybody in control of my account. I answer the YouTubes. YouTube, YouTube? I'll answer. But yeah. I, the DMs, I can't. I can't keep up with that shit. There's, Scott, so, there's so many. Scott's, Scott comments from his personal YouTube on our podcast. <laughs> um, I and then he goes in response to his comments on the underground so, engagement, bro. The, engagement is huge, dude. The, the one Luke was on, I watched the whole thing, by the way. Yeah. And then nice. um, I went and I commented on it. And I, I think I peeped that. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know I, yeah. I have don't you, my don't regular YouTube, uh, like my personal one. Yeah. Sometimes I'll com- I'll comment, <laughs> and then I'll try like, to start a fight. You like start argue fighting, on there? <laughs> like <laughs> fighting with myself, just trying to you know, grab some engagement. Yeah, because it's weird. Like we broke through on a couple. We broke through on like the obviously like a controversial thumbnail. Got a bunch of people over there. We just got monetized, fully monetized last week. But it's cool. YouTube's cool because we can link the shop like directly to it. Mm-hmm. I can do. I do videos on on product like um, like weird supplements. Yeah, and now I'm able to link that directly to there. I think we made twelve bucks. Twelve. We made our first go. twelve dollars yeah. yeah. on the come up, bro. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what's up. So um, I want to. I have a. I, we kind of brushed over something. I want to. I want to backtrack real quick, just because uh, I thought Luke's answer was interesting, um, and only because you brought up your family, you brought up your brother. Um, I don't know what the rest of your family situation is, but just to show you like the generational gap, I guess, like mm-hmm. the age gap, like I'm I'm just curious about how supportive like your family is and what you do. Very supportive. Are they? So from the rip though? They like from, from, from Jump the, Street? They, they never had an issue with it. I'll say that. Uh-huh. So my they none of them are like on social media like that. Uh-huh. My dad never never had a single social media app ever. Or my mom, actually. But my mom will, like, Google my name, like, Brody Shreds. <laughs> She'll look you up, look like, you up in the... I liked your last video. Who was that girl in it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shut up, mom. <laughs> but, um, my mom's super supportive. That's she awesome. She, um, she she asks me about it, like, how's, how's everything... Go- Every time I go over there, how's everything going? You know, where you at? Um, like, where you at, like, following-wise? Mm-hmm. And uh, because before I moved to my apartment, I was still at my parents' house. And they were always wondering why I was getting so many packages in the mail. And uh, my dad would just always mention, he's like, oh, you got you got more supplements, you got more, <laughs> more T-shirts, yeah. something like that. So my dad's not into that. He doesn't really know much about it. He just knows I'm doing, You're doing okay. well for myself. Um, but my mom asks about it. And then my brothers, um, they have like their private Instagram accounts. That's about it. Right. Yeah. But um, so they'll see my videos on Instagram. But. They don't. They don't say much about it. But that's every, cool that they're supportive, though. Yeah, so they're all supportive, and and never really. I don't know. Everybody if, around me is kind of supportive. I don't necessarily I know. Try to big, imagine, try I'm trying to, to th- think about Tom Big Newt shit. I was like, you know what? I'm going to quit. Uh, well, he watches your podcast. He does. He's he your biggest his, fan. He is our biggest fan. <laughs> yeah. oh, my mom, I think, is our biggest fan. Yeah. At the time, when, like when I quit my job, I was kind of fibbing a little to my mom how much I was making. Yeah. Because Just to justify it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't making you know at, like enough. Yeah. I wasn't making enough at the time. So I was like, but I was betting on myself, which I, I should have just told her. I was like, hey, this is what I'm going for. But whatever, it'll it worked work out. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now now I can, you know, remember, afford the nice Christmas gifts. Yeah, nice. when we when me and Justin told our even just told our parents that we were quitting our jobs in our late thirties to open the gym, they were like, Are you nuts? Yeah, yeah, right. Are you nuts? Yeah. Not a lot of people see the vision. You know. No, my but parents. now I mean now they're super supportive. Super supportive. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> yeah. he was, my father was like, "You're keeping your old job first, and you're going to do doubles." Yeah. So that's what I was doing in the beginning, which was wild. <laughs> but then once we started to take off, I was like, "I'm going to kill yeah. myself. Yeah, so yeah. I'm literally going to die." Yeah. So like, he was like, "All right, no problem." Like my whole t- hometown friends that like when I was going 
it, it went it went really fast from uh oh there's a TikTok store you know messing with me mm-hmm. kind of picking at me to dude how much money you make yeah, right. yeah. exactly yeah. <laughs> people right. change up real quick yep, yeah. absolutely do you get um I see it like uh, with Luke here and and I when you walked in the gym yesterday I saw somebody come up to you immediately mm-hmm. it didn't seem like you got like swarmed but Mm-mm. um right right off the bat someone I saw someone walk up to you do you get that like oh Jesus. <laughs> um, do you get that like a lot, like you know, in Louisiana where you are, like people recognize you when you're out and about, bother you, not bother you, but right, you know, want to meet you, take pictures, pictures, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So I I get a decent amount. I won't say it's crazy. Like I'm no celebrity or anything like that. But I, in my hometown, it's very chill when people come up to me. They're like, "Hey, buddy. hey, man, I've been seeing your videos." Like a lot of times, they'll catch people. By surprise, they're like, dude, where are you from? What are you doing here? I'm mm-hmm. like, dude, I live here. I live <laughs> here. I've lived here for 25 years. Right. Yeah. And, but, um, yeah, there's no crazy encounters back home, but I do get a fair share, like um, like at restaurants sometimes or whatnot. But um, I don't go out much. I don't, I don't do a whole lot. But when I travel. I was going to say, anybody knows you at Newark Airport? <laughs> not not there, but in the New Orleans Airport, yes. Yeah. And um, it's funny how people, ev- everyone has something different to say. Are you a YouTuber? Are you a TikToker? Mm-hmm. Are you, are you, I seen you on Snapchat Spotlight. Yeah. Like everybody knows me. I have like five different audiences, Platforms, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, so like, it's I rare that you that somebody's like a popular on all of them like that. You know, it's it's tough to break through on on. I think on so. That's that's the thing because um, not a lot of people utilize all of them. It's like you're making videos. Why not post on every one? Like, yeah, you might Facebook. As well. I'm about to hit 100k on Facebook. Yeah, that's my that's my lowest one. Right, and I've been pushing that for, uh, for a while. So. Well, time, for t- time for Twitter. You ever get a stalker? Exactly. That's time when I was like, Twitter. yo, I got to get another one. You ever yeah. have a stalker? <sighs> Not a stalker. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not a stalker? Yeah. Kind of yeah. stalker? Sort of. No, not a stalker. Not like someone following me in person. Yeah, it was just, it, just like, com- like commenting? But it, or but like... it gets creepy. Like some dude called me. It was like, said some out-of-pocket stuff that I'm not going to repeat. Yeah. Like sexu- sexually. Yeah. He called me on a random number. He That's was wild. like, hey, Brody. How do you get your like, like breathing heavy? Ew. I was like, I was like, remember that guy Nate I, that used to DM me? Remember on yeah, Facebook? Yeah, we got. Uh, that was just. We he, were, he was like sexually assaulting me in in <sighs> like with comments. It was I'm like, like our group. Our group. I'm like, bro, I don't want to block together. you. Yeah, this one guy friend requested all of us. I would wake up. I would wake up in the morning. and I would just like check, and it would be like this like story. And I'm like, I love oh, you. Yeah, yeah. So they could look like Mike Campanelli. <laughs> I don't even know what you There's look. some creeps. No. Though. There's some creeps. So he got your phone number and he was breathing into the phone. Did yeah, you know like, who it was? Like, no, no, it was random. So I answered it. He was like, hey, Brody. I was like, I thought about it. I was like, who is this? And he didn't answer. He was like, he didn't answer. And I was like, you got the wrong number, homie. Yeah. Even though it sounds exactly like me, I didn't change my voice. He was like, no, I know exactly who this is. That's fucking <laughs> weird. No, Click. Yeah. Cops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I blocked it immediately, but I was like, damn, I'm getting to that point where I get random messages now. and I bet. I don't know. What do you do about shit talkers, like, in the comments? Do you rare. go back at them or you no? You don't get a lot. It's rare. No. Yeah, you don't get a that's, lot of, That's like, why, like I was talking about, I, sh- I sh- kind of stray away from the workouts and stuff like that is because a lot of negativity with my skits. It's people enjoying the video, yeah, enjoying so the entertainment, you, laughing. Yeah, that's what Luke said too. <laughs> like he doesn't get a really a lot of negativity. I, I'm trying like, to think of a comment that bugged me, but so funny. Like we look for negativity. I go at it. We want it. We want. I'm wait, trying to Scott wants. Yeah. Scott I wants. I'm just like going to argue. try to pick I a fight with you. I want to argue with nobody. Your videos <laughs> like tonight. People, people that like in that video was like, dude, you can't eat five eggs a day. That's too high for cholesterol. I was like, I'm not even responding to that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, some stuff I would ignore. It's but pretty dumb. The only ones that would get me is when I know we might have messed up in a. So I try to, you know, if I if I'm like wearing my headphones and I need it for the last scene, I gotta ha- like things have to be in the right place for me. Of course, or yeah, it bugs yeah. the shit out of me. Uh huh. So if something like that, something's a little off. Maybe I pronounce a word wrong. Not even that because I have an accent. Yeah. So I you say a lot of off. stuff wrong. Yeah. It's when they notice something that I didn't do right, or like maybe the plot didn't make total sense, mm-hmm. and they'll point it out. And, and you I'm knew like, it already. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, that's I'm like, the worst. Fuck this fucker. Like I'll it. have yeah. a great video. It's doing really good. You, you know, got uh, like a million likes, and I like so I left a little part out that I wanted to throw in there, mm-hmm. and maybe it didn't make as much sense. And the video will be doing great, and somebody will point it out. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I, had I, had a ta- I had a tag out. I had a tag out on my on my sweatshirt. 
and I was, and I was like, "Fuck!" And it was too late, so I put it up in the first comments. Like, get your tags out, yeah. loser, from his personal <laughs> account. <laughs> yeah. So you think that? So would you say that you do a good job or not? Like, you know, because um, like I mean, this is a this is like you said, it's a constant thing. It's a longevity thing. Like, mm-hmm. do, you, do you just put like uh, how do you think you're good at just putting a video up and forgetting about it and worrying about the next one? Like, just or do you like do you obsess like over? Um, analytics I mean, we're, we're on such a, 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 a micro scale compared to you and like you know the view the engagement is so important mm-hmm. you know and obviously the engagement it brings business it brings you know traffic to our business where this is your business right yeah. you know so it's all it's it's more you know prevalent for you um so i mean i, I think about how nuts like I, I have a social media guy mm-hmm. um who does all the filming he does a lot of the creative stuff too we we have a lot of input as well um i have a weekly meeting with him and uh and we go over what we're going to film this week for next week mm-hmm. and what we're going to post this week that we filmed last week right what days i post at the same time and um just now i'm able to grasp the concept that like not everyone's going to be a home run right like i have to put out the best you know mm-hmm. I, I do the best i can even some of the stuff that I'm like, I don't think is the best, get some of the best traction. But like how are I'm just now getting to that point where I'm like, it's Monday's post is done, man. It's, yeah, it's just let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Like, how are you with that? Like, are you like, are you nuts? Like looking at the view, like checking the views every hour, you know? So once I post my new video, I never worry about the old one. So, OK. Yeah. Um, so like, obviously, I'll, I'll stress about it, it doing good, but. I'm I'm very self aware. I know this isn't gonna last forever, so I know sooner or later one of these videos are gonna flop. So actually, we broke our streak of getting over a million views. That's how we like to look at it. Thanks, Luke. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> like since that one, uh, my second to last video I posted actually did 700k, and my boy Colin, he was like, "Damn, that video flopped." I was like, "Dude, it got over 100k on, likes. Yeah. <laughs> we got to think about it from a realistic approach because back then, I used to I used to pray f- that my videos would get over 10k views." Mm-hmm. So getting over a hundred thousand likes is not a flop. No, you no. gotta look at it a certain you way. Yeah, look at it. But like since he's been in the videos, you know, we hit a million on every single one. So like, I was like, keep that train you know, rolling. This is yeah. this is yeah. very good. Yeah, for, you know, it's okay. It, so you know, he's we, just he thinks that's the norm. It can't always you, be a can banger. Can you pinpoint it? Though? Do you think you can like with that video? Do you think you understand why? Or do you like? Do you think it could just be the algorithm and it was just like an off day? Like. Sometimes it's just the algorithm. Just so just gets picked up in a weird way. One like, vi- I don't know. Some things, like one video, uh, like last week or two weeks ago, I posted a video, got 800,000, uh, not 800,000, it got like 500,000 views in the first four hours. That's insane. <laughs> and it got, I woke up. So when I wake up, a lot of times, like last night, I posted, or uh, yesterday I posted a video, I woke up, you know, it jumped up 900,000 views. Today, uh, that video I was talking about, I mean, I woke up and it went up 20,000 views. So right. it just got shadow banned all of a sudden. Yeah, like it shot up and then it just right. died. And it, it slowly off. creeps to like, I think it's at 1.2 right now. But it's like, where did that come it's, from? Yeah, it's strange. Like, it's weird. It's like TikTok chooses to like push it out and then they could take it away if they want. Yeah. They could shut me down tomorrow if they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? They control it. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. I don't, I must be. It must be some sort of AI thing that they, you know, like it initially it gets you put it out and it gets like a certain amount of reactions and shares mm-hmm. that they start showing it to more people and then maybe it doesn't meet whatever criteria and then yeah, they just it cut back. it. Yeah, or something else gets posted that that you know, overtakes it or something. I don't know. I can't even think of it. Who who don't you like? What's your least favorite influencer? <laughs> who do you hate watch? Least favorite? I'll tell you who I hate watch. <sighs> I was just kidding. I'm not gonna tell. Oh, you. I was gonna say. I hate watch everybody. I don't have one. Like I said, for my entertainment, I go on Twitter. Uh-huh. If I'm not like watching, like I I check Luke's socials. That might be weird, but I like like he's my favorite one. Like I said, I'll keep up with his videos. I'll keep up with his following. You know, we used to, you know, like I feel like we're in a little competition in a way. Right. But um, Do you see anybody trying to bite off you? Oh, that's a good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something that did bother me for a while, but then. I took it as, you know, yeah, flattering. Of course. But um everybody, I was getting I was getting like uh 50, 50 mentions a day. Bro uh bro is not Brody Shreds and they would <laughs> add me and be like, "Dude, he's copying your videos. He's copying your videos." And at first I was like, "Wow, they're just going to rip off my di-. It's not that 
So the overall concept, it's okay, you know. I, I'm not the first one to come up with like a documentary style thing. Yeah. But for the gym, I kind of did. Right. So if they could throw me a tag, that'd be nice. <laughs> but <laughs> I had <laughs> I had Spanish people, Italian people, from people from different companies, word for word. Like I would go in, I would like people would tag me. Um, they would be talking like Spanish and then they would tag me. I was like, you know, so I would translate it. Saying the same exact I, they would, shit. They would put up captions. I would translate it, same exact thing. They were like doing you know, your script? I would notice it right away. But yeah, they were doing the exact same, the, the machine I'm on <laughs> during the skit, they, they were doing the exact <laughs> same machines <laughs> and everything. Word for word, just are in a they different getting language. views? Are they getting like, are they getting like, oh yeah, because it's my idea? Of course, it's going to give views. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, no, so I was getting a bunch. And at first, it was bothering me. It bothers me when people rip me off word for word and don't tag me. When people people are taking the concept now and it's like and running with whatever, it. yeah, but no, no one's running with it. Yeah, they, no, they do it, but no, no one's running, running with it. it. Yeah, like <laughs> me. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh, now people are getting to the point where they'll post my videos and then just put Subway Surfers at the bottom of it, and they're just reposting my videos, making money off of it. Oh, really? Yeah, that kind of bothers me, but. I, that's just that's just um that's the, that's that's more uh, the attention, cl- more publicity. There's a clip video. Yeah. The, the people were doing it on YouTube for one, like they were clipping like clip podcasts and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and they were getting monetized. And I think they're trying to crack down on that because kind of well, stuff. But. You can't do nothing about it because as long as you edit it, it's it's, it's good to post. So like if they want to take my exact video, download it from TikTok, and just make, change the exposure a little, a little bit. bit yeah, yeah, that's ma- what they do. Because I was like, why does it look so weird? Then I like I read up on it. As long as you edit it a little bit, you know, that's your own content technically. Yeah, right. it's like uh, I forget. which makes no sense to me. Yeah, it's like um, co- it's a copyright tool where, yeah. you, where you can just but, as long as you alter it a little mm-hmm. bit, it's like free use or yeah. something. Yeah, but it's a uh, my 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 uh my following's pretty good at, at you know tagging me, it, tagging yeah, me, yeah. put it out and, there. Yeah, a lot of people would be like, "This is a copy of Brody Shreds," and it's like the top comment, <laughs> and so that makes me feel good. But it bo- it used to bother me, not as much no more. It's gonna happen, no doubt. What about like fake accounts? Fake, like oh it, yeah, yeah, that's the thing too. I, I know Lou gets a lot of them. Um, yeah. What do you mean by that? Fake accounts, like with the name and fake video. accounts. Oh, they'll use, to, they'll like, use my profile to, picture. Yeah. They'll use my um, something like, similar. Yeah, to your handle. shreds with an underscore in the middle oh, or a so dot. Some kind of scam. Yeah, and they'll post my exact videos. I had a um, that sucks. Yeah, there there was one that had like two hundred k, but I think I think they just deleted all the videos. They already they were already probably doing copying somebody else's. I think yeah. that's what people do. They'll copy somebody, and once that dies out, they'll change their profile change or change the username, else, yeah. and then they'll delete all the videos or private them and yeah. start posting th- that person's. Oh, they make crazy. money like that, which is crazy. It's a weird. It seems that like is, a lot of work. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a lot of work for a couple bucks. Well, so a yeah. uh, lifetime natty. Yep, I believe you. Well, if that I'm, matters to you. So if I give, I feel like if I give anyone my stats, they'll believe me. Okay, Twenty five. Like Five eight, one hundred sixty five pounds. One hundred sixty five pounds. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and Crazy. so I've been lifting. I, I like to say over six years, but I played baseball my whole life. So I've mm. been in the weight room with like PE, um, baseball, athletic stuff like that. So if I wanted to, I could say I've been in the gym. You know, close to ten years. What's but, your What's your everyday supplement? Like you, you um. What's what's the supplements you take every day, religiously? I need to be better with supplements, if I'm being honest. But do you um, take? I mean, I mean, if you don't take any, I, I mean, I'll make it make it three fish oil, magnesium, D3, multivitamin. Those are like my go-to. Those are your go-to. Yeah, like I'm spotty with the creatine. You if do, I'm being honest, you do a protein powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right, right. Post workout protein powder. Yeah, goes. Uh, n- chocolate nutter butter is my go-to right now. Shout out. Everybody Ghost. says that's a good flavor. It is. Dude, I, it sounds we might have to bring it, it back. We might bring it back. What I love about Ghost is they have the bits in it. Some people don't like that. I love it. Like they, they, they're chips in Hoy. They got the chocolate chips in it. The Oreos. They got the Oreos. I'll tell you they what. actually pay for the collaboration too yeah. with the company. So like the Sour Patch Kids, the Warhead. Like they. Yeah, right. Like, like it's not like it's you know, like their their Lucky Charms is actually Lucky Charms. It's not fruity cereal. You know. Yeah, exactly. I know, that's a, like that. I know they have the Chips Ahoy. Those Chips Ahoy, like. Uh, RTD drinks, we had those for a while. The ghost ones, mm-hmm. the protein, they were, it's like drinking chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's have, like, you, have you heard of the creamy? The creamy? Yeah. Ninja creamy? Ninja creamy. Yeah. Do you have one? No. Bro. So I, I looked for it at Walmart one day and then I just forgot about it, but I need to order one. I just got one. It's yeah, life changing, it. especially for like ghosts with the little bits in it. Oh, man. Oh, I, got it. I got it as a gift from a. So what do you, what do you put in it? Besides, like, the protein. So you can follow the, like, instruction. You can make regular ice cream if you want. But so say you want to, like, fit your macros. You can right. use, like, 
uh, almond, almond milk. milk. And, and there's like all different types of recipes. You put your protein powder, you put, you know, uh, I use collagen, and then you blend everything together. You put it in a pint and put it in the freezer overnight. And then the next day, whenever you want it, you just put it in the machine. It makes perfect ice cream. It's it's life changing. I'm gonna order one. You should. I'm gonna order one as soon as I get back. Actually, <coughs> you, sh- you should contact tonight. them. Call tonight. them. Do it out. Do it. Like, I'll start making some videos. Amazon right now. I'll make you a video, guys. That's yeah, true. There you go. I got. It was like um. I, th- I think it was like 180 bucks. I got it as a gift. Yeah. Which is great. I I don't ever reach out to brands. No. Mm. Not me. I feel like if a brand wants me, they're gonna come get me. That might, <laughs> that's not, a, that's a good not point. in a cocky that's how way. I feel. <laughs> not in a, co- not in a cocky still, way, but waiting, that's but how I feel. We got a case how, of free uh, pre-workout drinks just yeah. showed up in the mail, so right. I feel See, like we're on the way. I feel like if you want to work with a brand and you reach out, you, you got it. Too. If you want to work out with a brand and you reach out to them first, they have the upper hand already. Yeah, they got the leverage. You know what I mean? Yep. That's uh, how I feel. How many uh, did you get? Did you go through that phase of people trying to take advantage? Like business wise, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, dude, I can't, I can't talk. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm not the best talker, so that's why I just got management. Good, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's smart. You do that's right. smart. So yeah. I think the first few companies that I did deals with, got they the got the you. way better end of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Are you an LLC? I am. So at w- Shred City Brands. Shred City Brands. Yep. So that's um, at what that's what I mean. So at some point that when when you got your LLC is what when you knew that you were doing something, or did you do that mm-hmm. early on? Uh, no, that was like. Two months ago, one month, like maybe last month. No, two months ago. Yeah, okay. that's, that's smart. That's smart. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people don't do that. It's a mistake. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. But that, that, that was me. And then I, I was thinking about it more and more. And then I I I'm very, I, I should have done it a long time ago, mm-hmm. but I put it off. And then so I pulled the trigger on it. Do you have any ago. merch or anything? Do you sell any, any what? merch or T-shirts? or do Shred you, City merch. Shred City merch. We have a little plug for you. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah. absolutely. It's pretty so cool. our, our most popular one is um, the cut is going to be insane. Um, we say it in a lot of videos, and every time we wear it in a video, sales go up. I feel like I need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I've been yeah, saying right? that for two I'm years. Like Colin, I'm on like a, I'm on a three year cut right now. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he's, he's on a lifetime bulk, but the cut's yeah. gonna go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> just wait, just wait for it. No doubt, it's coming. Now, hundred percent honest, off the top of your head, and we won't tell anybody who's funnier, you or Luke. Me, okay, hundred percent. I didn't have to think about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree. I kind of agree with them. <clears throat> The self defense video is what got me. You like those? I was crying. That the was first, so. Oh, those are pretty funny. The those first, the first one ones I, I saw. I was about to, I, so I stopped that because these were the, the ones I'm doing now was doing so good. But people love that. The they first were. one. Honestly, like a million, I was going to ask about likes. that, but I was hesitant because I was like, I wonder if that was him or not. I no. don't know. <laughs> the, the, the I first, think that's the first, first video I saw. Whoa. The first video I saw, and it was, and I think it's just, I'm sure they would agree, and I think it has something to do with our age as I see these videos, and I can't picture you not. Being the person that's in that video, so yeah. and the first video I saw was the frat boy in the gym. You do that, like you do that laugh, you know? Ta-ha. Yeah, Ta-ha. I, like, I'm crazy. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I it's, it's, hate yeah. him. So funny enough, uh, one of my first videos that popped off on YouTube was the um, the cocky influencer, and people thought I was a piece of shit. Mm. So starting off, my first video that went viral. And they hated me, but then they, they switched. <laughs> yeah, they were like, watching. "Oh, oh, this guy's acting okay." Uh-huh. Yeah, but th- I mean, at the same thing when I when I saw Luke's video, I was like, uh, "You know, I, I was like, oh, he must act like this in real life." I hate him. Yeah, you know. And then I think you know, shortly after that, I saw the, um, the self defense one, and I was I was laughing. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah. Whoa, was, you gonna do me like that? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny. Yeah. I was laughing, and you, I got a little bone to pick. You were picking at CrossFit. Oh man, on the Bachelor one, and that's you, know, you do I, CrossFit. I don't anymore, but that's where I started. <laughs> he can't. That's he awesome. doesn't have a knee. Uh, yeah, I don't have a knee. I don't have an ACL anymore because Scott took it. We played a little rugby. I have to see at the gym. I could teach you how to do a pull up. No, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. bro. It's, it's, it's gymnastics. It's called big nastics. All right, all right. So slow down one sixty five. <laughs> no, but I was, I was a CrossFitter. I was gonna say Were you probably you? do great in CrossFit. You know? uh, I will say this right now: any CrossFitter will whip my ass any day. Yeah. Uh, not in a fight. No. Uh, I won't in ever say somebody could beat in me. Calisthenics up, in calisthenics, uh, yeah. in kippers. So kippers. I went. Um, <laughs> I did. Uh, I went to the CrossFit Games. Right. Everybody there was shredded, massive yeah. and just shredded. Yeah. And I was Fast. like, damn, ton of yeah. gear, ton of gear, ton of gear. I mean, gears everywhere. Endurance, but. endurance is big, and I think a lot of people have me on that. Yeah, it's overrated. What's that? <laughs> endurance? Yeah. What? What the fuck? Are you? <laughs> Zombie what are you apocalypse. Need? What are you doing, bro? Zom- You're walking from your car to the gym. <laughs> 
every day. <laughs> That's true. The most endurance you need is for your, this forty-five minutes of stairs he does every fucking day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the fucking worst. When was the? What's the? Let me ask you a question. What's the last time you ran full sprint? I used to play rugby. Uh, I retired because I kept getting hurt. Uh, I I ran a lot for rugby, but so that was the last time. Probably the last time uh, you ran was when so we, last we did a rugby challenge. Ran, yeah, we did a rugby tackling challenge. challenge. So I talked oh, shit to him, and he broke his knee. And I and I said I could tackle him, so we had a little rugby challenge. He hit and me pretty I, hard, and I fucking tore my ACL. Oh my god! And I still haven't got. We it had a video. Damn. They got a yeah. lot of views. We I still have no idea those. the last time I sprinted. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was like, I'm we should do that. a race. Who do you think would win in a race? In a race, it would definitely not be me. Not him. He doesn't have a knee. I might take. So I, I might say default. you because he doesn't have a knee. I would like to race John. Oh, a race. What you want to race me? Yeah. Scott has this thing where he's like, he he would can't handle me being able to do anything better than him because <laughs> you can't. That can. That's not that I can't handle it. I feel like you can't handle it. Um, that's not true. Mm. You won't jump out of a plane. That's not, I've that, done that. That's Ooh. just you're scared. Have you ever done that? Would you do that? Oh yeah. No, I've never. Ha- I never have, but I would. This Fuck is, that. I don't like planes that much, and I I'm certainly don't like jumping golf. out of them. You're better at me than golf. Yeah, I guess. That's you're true. afraid of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're like literally. I could sit in front of a spider. I have a snake. You yeah. could, you can't even. I could touch the snake. I I I just don't like spiders. But I still think we I had like a little competition for a little while. And I, I won them all, and then <laughs> they're mad about it. First so. of all, they, that's not true. I, I won the plate you, flip. I won the the sitting, the laying down bench press to show the press. How many times press. did you beat me in tennis? It wasn't official. It wasn't on camera. Oh, it wasn't official. Well, I we forgot. had the camera out. Okay. Yeah, I've always wanted to do, like, I feel like I don't, ha- I don't have enough resources to do something like this, but, like, fitness games. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, a bunch of creators come together and, like, a little Olympics. Like, yeah. like Mr. Beast of of uh, the fitness world. Yeah, exactly. Or something like, I, I would or, beat or like any an, fitness influencer creator out there in right. a foot race. Or a little... Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you ever any, been any to big one, name. Have you ever been to one of those, like, trampoline parks? Oh, yeah. They, they're they opening one next to one of his stores. And they got and jousting. We're, we're going to do, like, American gla- ga- gladiators. You like, want to fly back for that? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Please and have me out. We're going to do an underground, like, versus Paramount. Yeah, you that's dope. we'll fly you out. <laughs> we'll dope. pay for the ticket. You can oh, be yeah. on under- Team Underground. Fuck I'm that. in. You guys can have Luke. <laughs> what? You can have I, don't, Luke. I, I don't. I mean, me yeah, and Alan, gotta be on opposite teams. Me and Luke. Alan, and we'll His take. His partner Brody. is a psycho. His partner ran the entire 72 New Jersey stretch of the Appalachian Trail in 23 hours, nonstop. 72 miles. Nonstop. 72 miles through yeah. the mountains. 23 hours, nonstop. Not for yeah. I couldn't do that. No, I'm all he's a, he's a lunatic. He does like kettlebell swings in his backyard. <laughs> Rose David Goggins, he has, Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's like his, yeah, he's like yeah, taking he's out ayahuasca. Out and that was the first episode chickens. of our series. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy who watches too many David Goggins videos. That's that's, that's Alan. Alan. That's yeah. Alan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's staying hydrated, drinking salt. You know that kind of. He stuff. He was <laughs> drinking salt in, in <laughs> the gym salt. the other day. Drinking salt. I put salt in my pre workout. So. Yeah, I hear you. It's good. Not like he does. He's got like a salt lick in his car. All right, well, we'll I guess we can wrap it up. You guys are going to rapid Real fire f- weird things to ask? I want to know. You, what's are you your doing sign? Any content in Paramount? What's your sign? Uh, yes, tonight. Okay. Yep. What's your astrological sign for? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what you? <laughs> I love that. I think I'm a Virgo. Nah, don't care. What's what? going on? What the fuck? Why is he in the seat? What's going on here? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Put <laughs> <laughs> your goofy ass shoes on. <laughs> Why are you oh, you can shut the camera off. Camera guy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>